Well, I, you know, I think it goes without saying that it would be harder, hard to be prouder of a group of, of coaches and young men than we are, you know, after the effort. And it was a, um, you know, I guess when you talk about a total team effort, you know, I think we, we all look for that. But just to get a total buy-in from every player, coach, GA, manager, I, you know, I think we really had it. And, and, and that's what we demanded this week. We saw it. We talked. We saw the focus. We saw the intensity. We saw the attention to detail. Um, and we, this is who we think we could be, you know. I mean, I'm, obviously you don't always think it's going to come together. But I think the neatest part about this was to play a really – a great game against a really quality, well-coached opponent. Um, it doesn't get much better than that. And so, um, I, you know, and that's what I – just hearing folks talk about it, it was just a fun game, I think, to be part of. It was a fun game to watch for our fans. And that was important for our players to play good for the home folks. Um, you know, we'd had a couple of tough losses at home and played really well on the road. I think we brought that mentality of, of the road home. And um, – it was it was it was really special. So that was that was great. And of course, we got a big one to get ready for this week. But it's it's good to be in that thought process of having a chance for still championships and playoffs and all those good things. I mean, that's what you play for. So just a great day. It's a little about Eastern Illinois. Well, I think you know it's it's one thing to play a team who is. Um, you know, a good team. I think it's another thing to play a great team. And I think we're, we're playing a great team this week. You know, you're traveling on the road, which, you know, has been good to us so far. But, I mean, you're playing, you know, maybe the player of the year, um, maybe an all-FCS. Maybe he's that good. You're probably playing against a guy that's going to be playing the next level. You're playing at a receiver who just broke maybe the best receiver of all time's record. So, you know, you're playing a great quarterback, a great receiver, a great offense, and then a good defense. You know, good special teams unit. I mean, what are they? Number two, number three right now. So, um, it's it's going to be a huge task. Uh, we do feel like if we play like we play Saturday, that we can at least compete with anybody. Um, but I mean, obviously now they've got something else to, to get excited about. You know, I think they made pretty much mentioned early on. You know, I think even at the OBC media day that Jack State was a big game to them. As as I tell our guys all the time, we're a big game to everybody. And uh, but I think we're starting to learn what it takes. And, and we'll see how we do this week. Okay, uh, I want to start with both of the players. Uh, with, with, with both of you guys, since you both play on that side of the ball, it's got to face that dynamic offense that they have. Would you just both share your thoughts with us on how big a challenge this is to your defense this week? Because they're number one in the world in, in offense. Both of you guys. But so, um, we're just looking to execute like we did last game. And, um, as a defensive back and as a secondary, we're um, we're looking for a great game like this. They're going to come at us all game. And we're just looking to contain the right receivers and the good quarterback they have. So we're going to, it's a team effort and we just got to stick, stick with each other. Uh, so we love, we love big challenges like this. Uh, Coach said it right. If we play like we did last week, then you know we can be any, any team we face. So uh, we we love playing teams like this. We got to play hard, physical, and have another uh, great week of practice, and it'll work out for us. What would it say for the improving? De you guys have played really good defense this year, and that was one of the things that we needed to watch. Remember that you needed to, you know, you needed to have all all during the year. But what would it say to play well against this bunch? beat this bunch this week for the level of improvement that you guys have had during the course of the year? What would that say about how you all have progressed? I think it would be, uh, be a shock to the world that they're a nationally ranked team. They're one of the best teams in the nation. Uh, but we feel like we have one of the greatest defenses in the nation. Uh, coach preaches the little things are what counts. And if we do the little things, and uh, everything will work out. Uh, it would say a lot. It would say, um, we could prove to them that we can play with any team in the country if we get this upset, and we're just looking to have a great game. And and, and it's one specific for each of you guys. Uh, Dustin, you guys have really good sack numbers. Uh, they don't give up a lot of sacks, largely because Garoppolo knows what to do with the football. If he can get away from the pressure or throw it away when he's – what kind of uh, – how difficult do you think it's going to be to get to this guy? Um, and that kind of challenge it will be to try to put pressure on him to disrupt him. 
But he's a he's a great quarterback. Um, we have a great defensive line, great coach. Uh, he's he's going to mix it up, going in uh, different stunts and stuff like that. But uh, we just got to contain him and get to the quarterback and uh, play physical, and we'll get there. And, and, and Junior, the challenge that it will be to uh, uh, play against Laura. I mean, they're a really good combination. Uh, he'll probably be two, three different places on the field. It might be, you know, you'll get him some, the other side will get him some. Just, just speak to that combination of, of what you have to face and playing Laura specifically if you ever get him on a one-on-one -on -one deal or how they play. Uh, we're just going to stick to the basics and um, play, play our game plan that we have. We're just going to execute, and we know that um, they're going to come out and try to attack us. So we're just going to hope our defensive line get a, get the great pressure that we need and give us that little bit of time, and we're going to continue to cover to the um, whistle. And they, I mean, he's not a long guy. If I remember you guys playing him the last couple of years, I mean, he's like a 12, 13 yard guy, and then the rest of it is what he does when he gets the ball. Isn't that right? Yeah. It's, I mean, you got to think, now this guy's returned three punts for touchdowns. Uh, he's physical. He's about 190 pounds. Got a little, you know, a little crap to him. I mean, you know, this is a tough guy. So he's got great hands. He's a really good guy after catch. And he catches everything close. But, you know, he's caught a few balls down the field. I don't know that that's his, his, his real, that's his game. They've got another guy on the other side. They really like to go deep to. But um, he's just got great hands. You know, I mean, there's. When you've got a quarterback that's that accurate, I think that's the one thing I know. If the DB's on the outside, he puts the ball on the inside. The DB is, you know, on the opposite. You know, he puts the ball where it needs to be put, and the guy catches. So and that's, that's how you get big numbers. Does that turn into the way that he plays anyway? Does that lend itself into maybe how, how, how the kind of player that Gray is, who's kind of a hybrid linebacker, get that yeah. middle area for, you know, cover? Is that... Yeah, I mean, he's going to get – I think he's one of the – you know, the way they do it, and this is why they're so good, they put him in multiple spots. I mean, you'll see him in the backfield. They motion to empty. They'll put him at number three. And they, what they do, you'll see the tight end out at number one, which is normally where your corner is, and then all of a sudden you've got him in the slot, which gets him on the linebacker. Mm -hmm. But they do it multiple ways, and then they play so fast, they're depending on that speed, cause, and this is how we play. You know, it's – as I tell you, when, say when somebody plays really f fast, they can cut down your, your tendencies – of knowing who's in the spot, where is he at, this tells us something. So, you know, positive for us, we do practice against that. But practicing against it and in the game is is really two different things. So we've got multiple things. One, you've got a great offense. Two, you've got a, an offense that plays as fast or faster than we do. Um, and that's just, just in of itself, just that speed is a challenge. I, I might think, though, too, especially for the defensive guys, because they play so fast and defense is kind of a reactionary thing more than, oh, thinking what, you know, that might even be better for you defensive guys because you don't have to think about what, and this is how to play and just go with the ball. Is that a fair assessment? Um, I would say it's a little bit of both. Uh, you know, we, we have schemes on defense that we, you have to line up a certain direction mm -hmm. and line up a certain way and uh, disguise things, but, you know, they, they're, they're a fast-paced offense and, I feel like uh, if we get lined up, you know, that we can react and stop them. You just turn you loose a little bit. Just a flat free wheel of the play, right? Definitely. Coach, we've had Junior this year, but we haven't had Dustin. We just talked about what both of those guys bring to defense? Well, you know, I'll, I'll stay with Junior since he um, he's on my right. You know, one of the things we say defensively is really we kind of go as our corners go. And the more things Junior can do and, and you know, Rashad and those guys at corner do, the more things we're allowed to do in the box. And, I mean, if you notice how many times they threw the ball deep, and, and I think their coaching alluded to it, you know, you're impressed man coverage. I mean, it, it doesn't get much harder as a defensive player to go out there and you really got no help. And we did give him some help, but you're out there pressed up on the guy and he's got all the field to work with. And, and that's what this guy does. And he's just, not only is he a good player, but he's as he's a smart a player as he is a good player. He comes to work every day. He does it with a smile on his face. Um, he just, just does a great job for us. And, and he leads by example, which is what I love. Um, and plays such a hard position to play. 
Now Dustin on the other side is playing, has played some in force, but really has come into the jack position. Um, you know, uh, him and Amari play that position together. But I tell you one thing I really noticed in the game was just how physical he was this past week. He's really a great athlete because that jack for us is a hybrid rush in, drop in, got to play against tackles, got to play against tight ends. I mean, it's just, it's really a, a, a demanding position to play. And, well, he does such a good job. And really, you know, he's a guy that's gotten better every single game. But his physicality in that game, a tight end, just, I mean, I never blocked him the whole game. But he's got great energy, um, as, as do all our defensive guys. But I'm, I'm really proud of both these guys and what the defense did Saturday. It was, it was, you know, it was exciting to see. Dustin, talk about that big key Saturday. That's what. Uh, yes, sir. Um, well, we were, went to rush the, sh uh, the shield, and they got the ball off. And I looked at Gabriel Chambers, and I, I knew he was going to take it, bounce it off to the sideline. And I pointed to him, so I'm come back around, and I knew I was going to have a shot at, at peeling back on somebody. And I uh, felt like the guy was going to make a play, and he wasn't looking at me. And I uh, guess you'd call it a blindside hit, so I got him pretty good. In the shoulder pass. In the shoulder pass. <laughs> when they threw the when they threw the penalty, I was like, "Oh man, this is not targeting Candy." Uh, it wasn't on you though. Okay, that's good. Good news. The other guy will have some makeups to do. So. <laughs> there were lots of bodies. I mean, even Rashad was talking about that. There, I mean, there licks all over the place. And then, I mean, so, from your side, from you know, from their side. Oh out. yeah, it's a physical game. Yeah. It's a physical game. Are these guys like that, or are they more finesse than they are physical? I'm going to answer that for them. They probably haven't seen as much film as that. No, they're physical. I mean, it's going to be one of the biggest offenses. And I think what they do so well is they run the ball. You know, I mean, you've seen teams that just line up and empty and throw it every day. Well, anytime you just do one thing, I don't think you're very good. But they've got this massive offensive line in there. I mean, their tailback, one of their tailbacks, I think, is about 6'2", 230. Mm -hmm. And so they'll pound you and make you contain the box. And then they've got super wide splits, and they throw the quick screens, and then the vertical balls, and, and he can make all those throws. So you've got a big decision to make, and they don't let you play halfway. They take those receivers, and you'll see them almost on the sidelines, which is kind of all of what Baylor's doing, you know. It is, uh, it's, it's a nightmare for us trying to get ready for as a defensive staff, and me being involved with those guys, it's, it is a nightmare, but we're uh, We'll see what happens, but I think they are a physical offense. I mean, I give them credit because they don't just throw the ball, and but it's they, they're physical. Is it like they've got, you know, how like the like the, the Big Ten guys, their lines are always big. Yeah. They're like a Big Ten front and a Big Twelve. Yeah, uh, that's right. Uh, skill set. Yeah, I mean, it's not a. I mean, I don't think. I mean, I'm not saying they're unathletic, but they're not just light pass pro guys. Mm -hmm. I mean, they're big old. Guys, they fake get, guys like yeah, if they get their hands right. on you, I mean, it's tough. And so we're sitting there knowing we got to stop the run game. And I still remember a coach that played said, well, we got to stop the run game. Well, you got to stop both. You know, that's why I disagree. That old mentality we used to have, got to stop the run game. Yeah, you do. But you also got to be able to go out there and cover down on receivers. So it's uh, they're going to make you do both. And, you know, this is one of those games, if you don't play well, they can embarrass you because they've got, they're going to get so many snaps. And that's what happens with the number of snaps. When you start talking about going from 70 snaps to 95, I mean, that's 25 more chances they have to do something. So I think that increases just the amount of time you're on the field, the amount of fatigue that sets in on your guys. We're going to have to be able to rest guys. Um, I mean, this is a challenge just in, in their tempo. Forget the fact they got probably the best player in the, the whole deal. And, you know, so it's and, – and, and I don't want to tell you what defensively they're very good. I mean, they're solid, they're big, so offense is going to have a huge challenge, you know, and then, and then I think they lead the nation in punt returns. They've got a lot of different things that make them good.